The first operating system we're going to install is Windows 10 OS. This is the latest iteration of the Windows family operating system. If you buy the software in stores, it comes in a nifty USB drive. I have Windows loaded on a USB drive. And I'm going to go ahead and insert the drive, then boot it in a minute. But first, let's make sure we have our BIOS UEFI boot order set to boot from the USB drive. Depending on what the manufacturer of your computer uses, you'll either hit F12 or some other key to access the BIOS settings. Looks good. Let's just let it run and we'll see it booting from the USB drive. Take note that your installation process might be slightly different depending on the version of Windows. Okay, I'm just going to click next here. It's just asking for my language preference, my time and keyboard. Then I'm going to click the install now button. It's asking for a product key. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. We'll do that later. And it's just asking me to agree to a software license term. So I'm just going to accept. Next. All right. Now it's asking which type of installation I want to do. I'm just going to click on custom because I just want to install Windows. I select the drive I want to install it on. Okay, it looks like the computer restarted. Now it's just configuring updates. Once it's done updating, it's going to restart one more time. And now we're launched into the screen here that's asking us to enter in the product key. We're just going to go ahead and skip to this for now. We'll do this later. So I'm going to click do this later. And now it's asking if what kind of settings we want to use. We're just going to click Use Express Settings for now. Just want to start using our machine as quickly as possible. Okay, it's asking us to create an account for this PC. The first field is the username. A username is a unique identifier for a user account. I'm just going to go ahead and use my first name as my username. Next, I'll enter a password. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and finish our setup. It's starting to set up everything for us. Perfect. Now, here we are inside the Windows 10 operating system. Let's check it out. This is our user space. We have our desktop environment here where we can navigate our files, folders, and applications. The main screen here is called a desktop. In the bottom right corner here, we have a taskbar. This gives us quick options and shows us information like network connectivity, the date, system notifications, sound, etc. In the bottom left-hand corner here, we can access the applications, files, folders, and settings. You can also shut down, restart, and power off your computer from here. Let's move on to our system settings. In the main menu, go ahead and navigate to the settings. From here, you can change any of your system settings like display resolution, user accounts, network, devices, etc. Now, we're going to create a file in our operating system with our GUI. Let's create a file here on our desktop. All you need to do is right click and you'll see some options available. Then select New, then Text Document. Bam! Now we have a text file on our desktop. We just need to give it a name. How about My Super Cool File? And that's it! You just created a file in Windows. That wasn't so bad, was it?